we have yet again recorded another disgraceful conduct of the governorship elections held almost in all states of Nigeria where governorship elections were held. The Votes Must Count International Initiative, VMCII, has called on President Muhammad Buhari to disband transition committee he set up to hand over power to another democratic administration. Alleges that the election that produced the man called Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu was not proper and will not be recognized by the Nigerian people. Speaking at a press conference held in Abuja, the VMCII country director, Dr. Barry Johnson said that if the Buhari administration refuses to obey the laws set aside by the Electoral Act, the VMCII will seek redress at the International Court of Justice, which will attract criminal investigations by an independent court of international competent jurisdiction. Also called for cancellation of election results by INEC in areas where there were irregularities with evidence to show. We use this opportunity to also call on President Muhammad Buhari to disband the transition committee he set up to, hold, to hand over power to another democratic administration because the election that produced the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinubu as president-elect is not proper and will never be recognized by the Nigerian people. The disbandment by Buhari will go a long way to help redeem the image of our democracy and rebuild our political stability at this time in history. It is a total waste of time and public funds for a transition committee to transfer power to a fake, democratic, impersonating, and undemocratic president-elect. President Buhari, sir, you can also use this disbandment as a way to create the solid pockets of peace for Nigeria and its people before, re before you return power come May 2023. So we have decided to call on the international court to step into the matter before Nigeria is turned into a political war zone that the world will not be able to control. If Buhari's administration refuses to obey the laws set aside by the Electoral Act, we shall have no option but to seek redress at the International Court of Justice. We are talking about the ICC. Because for the, because for the VMCII, these political wickedness are also seen as criminal crimes that will attract criminal investigation by an independent court of international competent jurisdiction. We call on INEC to cancel the elections in places where irregularities were performed with evidence to show. These cancellations should give birth to fresh elections so that the people can return the nation to stability. The election organized by INEC in Lagos State for the governorship and state houses of assembly is not an election, but a movie script played by INEC as a vision that will never help reset Nigeria as a people. INEC should know that they must obey the rules of the game by doing the needful in regards to a review of the elections in Lagos State in particular. At the briefing, Peter Obi Vanguard Ambassador Dr. Rose Edwin Rowland stated that all INEC officials and judges who are capable of setting the country ablaze must be ready to face the consequences. She also stated that the youth will not keep their promises of peace anymore because INEC and security agencies have compromised their promise over the elections. All INEC officials and judges that are engaged in the activities that are capable of setting Nigeria ablaze must be ready to face the consequences of their heinous acts 
our principal, His Excellency Peter Gregory Obi, has at all times asked that Nigerians chose legal and peaceful means to pursue the legitimacy of our rights. But the, from the looks of things, citing the sham experience this weekend, we, the Nigerian youth, will not keep to that promise with him anymore because INEC and the security agencies have compromised the will of young Nigerians yearning for good governance. We will not sit down to watch evil men destroy our beloved country. We will take to the streets to retrieve our mandates, our stolen mandates, that the government of the day and their agents who engage in fragrance abuse of power, violating the rule of law, to frustrate Nigerians from being encouraged to vote out the charlatans who want to permanently, fraudulently occupy her political space. However, President of African Emancipation Movement for Good Governance, Honorable Loki Ehis, addressed the spokesperson of PCC, Bayo Onanuga, about his statement trying to divide Nigerians along ethnic and religious lines. We are also using this opportunity to address the spokesperson of the PCC, Bayo Onanuga, his incendiary statements and comments in trying to divide Nigerians along ethnic lines and religious lines. This was the same thing that happened in Rwanda in 1994 when Hutus began to divide using divisive statements, incendiary statements, inflammatory statements on the Tutsi, calling them crocoches, and that led to a genocide. A genocide that lasted for 11 for, for over 100 days, between April 17th to July 15th, 1994, that killed over 800,000 Tutsi. We don't want that in Nigeria. We are calling upon him to rescind his words that are divisive. Nigerians are equal in any part of the country, and they are, they are in fact, Nigerians are supposed to live anywhere without the fear of tribalism. Over here, Rachel, GTV Africa.